Hi, my name is Danielle, and we're here at the Turtle Drain Shop in Wakanda, Illinois. Let's discuss existing water removal systems and how they negatively affect our environment. When pumping water, elevation is key, so let's consider these two scenarios, moving water from low to high and from high to low. First, we'll start by pumping water upward. If I were to drink from this bottle of water through this tube, I would be pumping water from a lower elevation to a higher elevation. As you can see, by sucking through the straw, we have created an intake force that allows the tube to act as a vacuum and move the water steadily upward. Electric and gas pumps are used for this very purpose every day. Now, let's take a look at pumping water downward. Some of you might be familiar with this next little trick as I show you how to move water using gravity, or as you might know it, a siphon. Let's see what happens when I take this end and bring it to a lower elevation than the water. We will start the vacuum by removing my thumb. Interestingly enough, a siphon will actually suck water upward as long as its outtake end is at a lower elevation. modern day water pump. Every pump requires an artificial force to create suction. These gas and electric pumps have been an effective tool for nearly a century. However, in our progressive and eco-conscious world, fuel emitting energy rises with cost and threatens our ecosystem. Perhaps we come up with a more eco-friendly and cost-effective solution. So, let's think here for a second. As I just demonstrated, we can use a gravity-powered natural siphon in any situation where water needs to be pumped from high to low, such as flat roofs, parking lots, golf courses, or even a hot tub. In fact, you can pump and move water without a single watt of electricity. You're probably asking yourself, why aren't we using this process already? The answer is simple. We are finally starting to piece together that electricity generated from fossil fuels is limited increasingly expensive and hazardous to the environment. But ultimately, siphons aren't used to drain and remove water anymore due to the many variables behind the vacuum power making it very difficult to control. For instance, if a siphon vacuums too fast, it will almost always clog. This makes the siphon process seem completely useless. If you stay tuned for my next video, I'll show you how my product, the Turtle Drain, is the answer to this problem. You will see how we can use a gravity-powered siphon to replace energy-consuming, environment-damaging gas and electric pumps.